Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the Sporty stream. It's nice to see you. My name is Sporty FC. I see all you guys. And I just came back from doing commentary for another league, so we're gonna have to get ourselves into this series very soon. We have two series tonight. And they're both for the Black Line Championship Series. We'll start off with RW Esports versus 15 Bean Soup. And then later on we'll see Mythic versus Serenity. They're both best of five, so they might go by very quickly. We get ourselves in our first series again, happening in just a few moments. RW Esports and 15 Bean Soup. We've seen 15 Bean Soup, those players of Zero and Perpjank before, in a 2v2 team known as, uh, all boys, nope. No Hank, just boys. There we go. The team of No Hank, just boys. When they won an indie gaming season, the very last season of indie gaming league, I was able to cast them. They were actually the last series I ever commentated for the indie gaming league, and so kind of have a special place in my heart. But maybe that's also because they have a profile picture of me. Uh, on, uh, Steam. But other than that, let's get ourselves into a series. We can't, uh, dawdle too much. Again, after this, we'll have another Black Line series coming up. But first, RW Esports versus 15 Bean Soup, a best of five. And here we go. Info going out to both teams. I just got, and we are going to get a uh, prediction poll actually going up at the exact same time. Why not? Uh, for, uh, every, anybody who wants one, we're going to get that right before we get the series started. Uh, just for all of you guys to vote on who you think will win. Let's get a prediction going. Again, 15 Bean Soup will be on the orange side. And RWU on the blue. A five minute prediction. We'll go into the game, but and not too big of a deal. You guys get, uh, you guys get a bit fortunate here. Let's get ourselves going into game one. And the prediction will be up for some of this game as we do get to see these teams take to the field. It's RW Esports on the blue and 15 Bean Soup on the orange and we've seen Zero and Perfect Rank play before. A mechanical team uh, to say the least. Uh, and, and they love to go for these kind of wild wacky plays. At least for the twos team they were. And uh, we'll see what they do for threes. This is not going to be... Uh, this, is, this is not going to be an easy series for them. I would like to see what they do when they have less space than, uh, like they do now. Uh, now, again, now that they're playing in a 3v3 situation, too, you get a lot of space. You can earn that space very easily. In threes, though, you should not get any space at all, especially at this level where everybody's playing with so much speed that having space to do what you want uh, comes seldom. Uh, if, at, if at any time, Zero cross for NC. Zero's going to take it himself. That's a double commit on the side of 15 Bean Soup. You need to play careful, but Perp Drank doesn't read it against Tab. Tab. Can't make it. It's going to be Pickle to jump, but Pickle can't do it either. CJ. It's going to bounce in front, but Zero knows he has space. He can get two touches here. In fact, 50-50 at Foo Tab, but he has nothing in the tank. Tab's going to bump him out of the way. Perp Drank in front, but only for Pickle. Pickle. And you think Tab maybe, maybe could have gone for the demo in that situation. It was a 2v1. Uh, on the side of RWE, RWU, if he did go for it, but he did not. And that just forced it to be kind of a... Kind of a 1v1 where there's no way RWU scoring. NC though, from the tight angle, trying to put one in. Perp Drank, out to the side. Zevo, gonna put one back, but it's Tab on the back wall. And uh, 15 Bean Soup. With a shot off the back wall, no goals yet for any of the players. Zero does come on through. Tab, off the corner. TJ. Doesn't read it. It's Perp Drank to get the initial touch. Tab and Pickle. Pickle to clear. And Pickle can follow this one up. Pickle is going to bounce in front. Not a good read from Perp Drank. And Pickle will take advantage. He forces the mistake out of Perp Drank. And RW will take the early lead. Perp Drank doesn't read that one correctly. The ball just hooked near the wall. And Perp Drank thought it was going to bounce straight out. And you can't blame him in that situation. It's very tough to read. And RW... Well, they can hold this lead now. In game one, Pickle. Looking at the back wall, trying to get the second touch. Can't do so, it's Perp Drank to clear. And Perp Drank, still on the ball. Gonna flick it to the back wall as well. Zero cannot read it, it's NC. Come on, the player that wasn't on that No, uh, no Hank Just Boys team was NC. Although he was a major fan of that team. We always saw him in the Twitch chat. And you know, great to see him here playing with them now. But it's not going to look very good right here. CJ to score his first goal. And it's off a 50-50. One thing that 15 Bean Soup 
uh, that, I, that I know the players of Zero and Purple Dragon like to do, where they like to play really aggressive, go for some low, go some so some low percentage plays and in threes. That you th you would think that that's even better for them to go for that kind of stuff, those crazy things. But in fact, it it, it, it seems like those mis those errors that they had on that team are still showing up. R W is just. Uh, taking advantage, perp drank though. Oh, a strong shot, and he caught the net wide open! It hits the post and is out! RW almost found themselves in the middle of hot water. It's 15 bean soup. Try to keep them honest on that play, and now, you know, RW is definitely going to be a little more uh, cautious of when they push up because uh, they really don't want to give away freebie goals like that. NC. In the corners, tab to clear it away. It's Perp Drank still on it. Perp Drank NC's on the back wall. Second shot's coming in from Zevo, but it's weak. Tab has no issue saving that one. And Zevo, you need more power on those shots if you want to find a goal. 15 bean soup, still hunting. Perp Drank off the back wall. Looking for a second, looking for a bump blade. He gets it. Zevo will score off of that. Perp Drank making it work, and this is the scary part of this team. The mechanical play to go for more, to continue to add more and more pressure, to go for fun little plays like that. 15 Bean Soup, show you why they are actually one of the most fun teams that you'll ever see play. Or at least they were in the 2v2 side. But they are a very exciting team, going for these kind of crazy solo plays. Electrifying, to be fair. Definitely a unique play style. I've never seen any team go for this many solo plays, and right now... That one, well, it wasn't really a solo play, but it does work out as a goal. Zevo is willing to catch all RW players going for the same boost. That's all three of them in the corner. And you, you hear a lot of coaches say, it's bad to have two players hugging that corner. Well, now three. That's even worse. That's all of the players on that team. And RW, now they found that the game's tied up. Just like that. Perp Drank trying to drill it downfield. Tab chasing him down all the way. Gonna hunt down Perp Drank. NC. With his Fennec. Can't get Fook. CJ. CJ has a second touch, but can't make it. It's Zevo. Who has the boost advantage. And 15 Bean Soup. Looking for an infield pass. This is where they mix things up. And this is another goal for them. They take the lead. It's from NC. And this is where this team can mix it up. An infield pass. Instead of going for the solo play. Instead of going straight towards the net. 15 Bean Soup. Decided to take a bit of a detour. And use one of their teammates to score instead. 15 bean soup. That's how they take the lead here in this game. And potentially if they hold out for the next minute, the entire series. NC can't get can't break through the defense. It's perp drank though. In front for Zevo. Zevo! His shot's not on target. Still gonna find one in the middle. But no one was challenging aggressively. Now they do. It's perp drank to jump on top of that. And it's NC. He's up quick, but CJ almost meets him to it. RW were a lot slower to that initial jump, but they almost caught up. And that will force that kind of play to have to go outside of the net range. As 15 Bean Soup. Definitely the most unique name in this tournament, I will say. Having to had to make a two-goal comeback. And they have uh, made that. Now they're in the lead as well. Zevo. And the NC, you can see he's going for that bump play. Like A bump play from Perp Drank gave them a goal. And a double commit, it still works out in their favor. My goodness, 15 Bean Soup, totally not designed, but they still hit the mechanics of this team. You're able to recover from even the m most wild of mistakes like a double commit. But still, last second, Pickle in front. Where's the shot? Still up there. Pickle has to jump on in. He can't find it. 15 Bean Soup. It was dancing in front of their nets. It was a very scary situation. But that scenario will not result in a goal, and 15 Bean Soup will win Game 1. Game 2 though, 15 Bean Soup, so far in every single Blackline series game we've seen, sorry, series we've seen, it's gone, it's been a sweep. I, I doubt that will be the same tonight, after tonight, but uh, who knows, I'm, uh, it would be an interesting statistic if we get a third sweep in a row. Now, saying that, IW can still come all the way back. That's not going to be impossible for them. They got that two-goal lead. All he needs to do is hold it against 15 Bean Soup. And well, that sounds easy in theory. For a team with that many, with that kind of mechanics like 15 Bean Soup, definitely not easy. As we go to the Aquadome, 15 Bean Soup, can they add more to their tally? They've scored three goals unanswered. What about more? They get themselves to an early lead. It's tab to miss. It's NC to also miss. 
a rarity at this level to see that many players fly right by the ball, but sometimes that's just kind of what happens. It's Players are expecting so much out of each other that when you expect a great play and the player doesn't really does follow up with it, you don't really make contact with the ball, but Pickle here. Well, we expected greatness out of him, and this is greatness. A flick over NC, and now that's wide open. NC had no one behind him to save, so he kind of was on his own there. 15 being soup caught flat-footed. I keep doing that. I keep pressing the wrong button there. <laughs> I bet there, chat. Pickle. You'd pass zero. Perp drank. Sitting on his goal line. That's a very risky maneuver. Uh, but it does work out, for, at least for the moment. Pickle still on top of it. Zero. We'll try to deny, we'll deny him a pass in front. NC. A tap down, but it's CJ. His shot is saved by Perp Drank. And Tab. Looking across. It's there for Pickle. And Pickle with the second of the game. Last game went 2-0 up initially for RWU. They've just repeated that here. Now, do they hold that lead? They weren't able to do it last game. Can they do it in this one? NC <clears throat> on the ball when he doesn't make contact. CJ with the shot, but it's Prep Drank to retaliate with his with a clear. NC he's jumping up early for that one. Again, that's what I say. They play these kind of weird low risk plays, but it sometimes works. And this one, that wasn't a low risk play from zero. That one was a hundred percent success rate. A perfectly slotted shot from zero. Tab, you see him? He backs up into his net, trying to get the best angle possible, but even the best angle possible couldn't have saved that rocket into the bottom right corner. Zero. For him to start um, to mount another comeback for 15 bean soup. TJ, no contact there. Zero. He's going to jump on top of this from the ceiling. Looking for a second one. Can't make. It's Perp Drink off the back wall. CJ can't connect. It's Tab. And, oh my goodness, NC had no boost. He couldn't challenge up aggressively, but he still makes contact. Allowing 15 Bean Soup just a little more time to get back into the rotation. CJ with the demo. Zevo going to clear it to the sidewall. Perp Drank is there, but Zero is there a little faster. He has the touch. Perp Drank in front. And Pickle. And you're willing to challenge that as first, man. Play that aggression sometimes, even plays like those, where you shouldn't be winning to the ball. Why not go for this first man? Sometimes it'll work in your favor. Perp Drank there with a with a dribble. And CJ, he shuts that down with an aggressive all-in early challenge. Zevo, get away, but it's Pickle on the back. Pickle, getting past one, but Perp Drank, he's seen that trick before. He says that that run will not pass Zevo for the, with the ball. And once again, you can see... At every, any boss, any point uh, that they can, 15 Bean Soup will take to the air. And that could waste a lot of boost out of RW, but 15 Bean Soup have not done a great job at securing boost deals on that, on their, in the, uh, defensive, in the blue end of the field. And, uh, that could definitely make their offense more stagnant. And see? Past one, it's Perp Drake. To just continue it to the corner. And see, has space, has a touch. And Zevo jumped in as well. Perp Drank has to be careful with what he does here. Gonna put a pot shot on, but Pickle is waiting for it. Oh, and Pickle. Oh my goodness, what a great play from Pickle. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the goal there, but Tab will. And Pickle, the speed at which he beats NC to this one. He uh, he just caught NC napping on the la on the back line, and, ta and Tab will uh, put in the finisher. Just to make sure that it does actually count as a goal for RWU. Now they're up 3-1, with 2 minutes 20 remaining, 15 Bean Soup. Last game, they went off to a really slow start. This game is the same, but they, unlike last game, they are not they are not looking like they're in control anymore. As it's RWU, you can advantage to the fact that there's a lot of really early challenges. You see Zero there, jumping extremely aggressively for a ball he has no business winning. Now instantly though, on the dribble play, looking for the cringe, can't do so. Yes, it is called the cringe, the air dribble cringe, bumping your teammate out. Johnny Boy coined that term, I believe. Pickle. The shot, but it won't phase NZ. And here comes Zevo. With one touch, Tab will follow it. And NZ jumps into that one. A second man of 15 Bean Soup. Seems like they're grasping for straws here at these challenges. It's a, lo a lot of their mentality is just go, go, go. And really, sometimes maybe their mentality should be slow, slow, slow. Take a little more time to an analyze your situation and see if that challenge really is the one for you. Perp Drank, up in front, but Zero isn't able to read it. Still has it, but he has no boost. And the boost dealing 
against 15 bean soup will definitely make it a lot more difficult for them to really do what they what their playstyle asks of. They want to go to the air, but to do that, they need a lot of boost to do it. It's a really high risk play from this 15 bean soup team. And you can see it in this game not working out for their in their favor. Pickle. I'm going to add another goal tab to continue. That net was open for a, sl a split second, but RW could not capitalize. And see? Will not be able to beat CJ. CJ off the back wall. No second touch. He doesn't have the boost for it. And it's zero to clear. Tab has the play. He can get over Prep Drank. And he's looking for another one. NC is just waiting for the save. And Zevo. And he's trying to get the clear out. 15 Bean Soup have to score on this rush specifically. Or else their chances of taking a game two victory are low. And now it's Zevo. Pickle. That's a that's three goals in the lead. And Pickle scored 50% uh, of fifty percent of his shots. So is Tab, actually. And 15 Bean Soup. They're going to look to game three to get that to get match point. As this game, that high risk play, not working out. Once people can read that high risk, that 15 Bean Soup go for, they can they can start to break them down bit by bit. Although they are still looking for a goal here to end off this game. Zero in front. CJ to clear, and it's Tab up quickly. Tab up to the back wall, looking in front, and no one will read it. RW, though, they don't mind. They are now, they have now tied 1-1 in the series. And with that, RW... And the big thing that I see is 15 Bean Soup going for last... That, that, this game that didn't work as well as they did last game uh, was their second-man challenges. They always play a huge second-man challenge where they go all in for some of these plays. And you saw this game not work. RW was on top of it. 15 Bean Soup, it's going to be uh, setting up plays for their, for their teammates, but also making sure that they, when they do challenge, that they challenge for plays that they know they can win, because as a second man, you can't overcommit uh, too aggressively, or else you leave one player back on his own. As we are waiting for RW to join back in, they're making a car change. 15 Bean Soup, just going to wait patiently here for their opponents to rejoin the lobby. RW, RW with that momentum, they're looking poised to try to get series to get try to get series point the match point the point that can put, bring them within one of winning the first round of this Swiss stage. Yes, it is a Swiss stage bracket. So winning this, they'll be playing against other one and zero teams if they win. If they lose, they'll be playing zero and one teams. Getting yourself to an early lead in the Swiss stage is always a good idea. Getting yourself and trying to get yourself within striking distance of the uh, uh, of the main events. It says the qualifiers after all. Game three. Both teams going to try to fight their way to a, to a win. This game, game three, I, I, you know, everybody talks about how important game five is, how coveted it is, but game three might be the most important game of a best of five series because in, in this situation, it's where a series can either end or where a team can take match points. And, oh, 15 being soup. They want it to be them. Herb Drank and NC connect for a passing play. And you can see here, no high-risk play in this situation. Just making sure they make the right play at the right time. NC with the infield pass to Herb Drank. And 15 Bean Soup, off to get early in. By the way, Prep Drank is using the full, like, the full JNAP setup. With the JNAPs, G2 Decal, and the freaking, uh, Hoagie uh, banner. I believe Viso actually used that uh, as, uh, as well, but... I'm gonna say, love that banner. Although I'm pretty sure he's also the one with the really annoying boost. <laughs> with the, uh, confetti boost. Give it away. Prep Drank. Trying to follow up off the sidewall. Pericle can't put it on target. Zevo to keep it going. Zevo pass in front for Pep Drank. Pep Drank's jumping. Pep Drank connects with it. And that's another great infield passing play. And Pep Drank will take advantage of it once again. Oh, I just turned off the uh, scoreboard again. What a great pass, though, from Zevo. Zevo and Pep Drank were the, were the members of that 2v2 team that did win the Indie Gaming League multiple times as well, uh, from, what I've, from what they've told me. And that will be a goal in favor of Tab. RW. Getting one goal right back end. A great way to get themselves back in this game. As, uh... I might have to leave part where you're doing this game. Someone's messaging telling, telling me to come down and do something. As Perp Drank trying to clear it away. Zevo 
on it, but can't get the clear as well. CJ back and NC the clear to the side. Pickle is waiting back, but Perp Drink off the corner and in front for NC. NC almost on target. Zero and these pinfall passes are starting to dice up RW. 15 Bean Soup really want this win. And so far, their info passes have been the result of two goals. Uh, and sorry, have made the result of two goals. TJ, him out of the way. Perp Drank, his shot is good and saved by Tab. I thought that one was going to find its way into the back of the net. But Tab was there and, and waiting. NC can't make the touch. It's CJ, you go back. Perp Drank is jumping up very early for this. A situation's a third man there. Will instead take their losses, go back and try to reset the play. But Perp Drank trying to keep the ball in the blue half with, uh, in any way possible. TJ going up for a second touch. Will connect, and Perp Drank's on the line. Tab will score, and let me go downstairs. It's going to take a little while. What's the scoreline? It is 1-1. Uh, I'm going to have to go for like a quick minute. Uh, someone's telling me to go downstairs, so... It's, it's, you know, it's parents. It'll be like a minute, I promise. You guys, though, you get to watch some great gameplay. Let me know how, how, how what happens after, uh, after, I after I come back. Okay, I'm back. I do see that we have another goal coming in, and RW are now in the lead. That's really impressive from RW to come back. Uh, here, uh, Tekka man, tell me what happened. Actually, I, I wasn't really paying attention, but it does look like RW is now in the lead. Uh, great comeback. We've seen a couple weird comebacks. We saw one in game one from 15 Bean Soup uh, to get that win, and now in game two, sorry, in game three, RW is trying to make one of their own. But we still have about half the game remaining, and anything can happen. Pickle. Oh my goodness, Pickle, no way! He flip reset past the entire defense, RW! And that's a highlight real play. Save it on the camera tape. Pickle stylishly threw everybody on the line. And 15 Bean Soup flabbergasted. They didn't expect to play as clean as that against them. And CJ, oh, he tried to get a goal for himself there. 15 Bean Soup. Now they're down by two. They seem to find themselves down by two in a couple of these games. They were in game one, but they came back. In game two, I believe they lost by two. Now in game three, they're currently losing by ga by two. Tab, trying to, find, trying to find his way past the defense. Perp Drank is there, but 50-50 gets through. Pickle, and that shot is good, but that shot is saved by Zero. Having to get back the entire way. He played a French-style defensive way, uh, trying, to get the, trying to get to the back wall. 15 bean soup, though. Happy. Uh, that one stays out as Tommy Buckets coming in with the rate of 10. Hello, Tommy Buckets. How are you doing, my man? We got some Black Line Championship Series action for you. Coming right up. It's 15 Bean Soup on the orange and RWEU Esports on the blue. 15 Bean Soup. I reckon uh, both Zero and Perfect Rank are relatively... Are people I do recognize. I, can't, I casted them when they were on No Hang Just Boys for the Indie, Indie Gaming League 2v2 circuit uh, in their last ever season. They won that circuit as well. Now, though, in the Backline Championship Series, they got some formidable foes. RW is their first. Perp Drank off the back wall, looking in for Zero. Zero, it's a light shot, but it is enough to beat the defense. And 15 Bean Soup find their way back in it. And Zero, he actually had to angle his car back uh, forwards a little bit, so the ball would bounce upward and not just straight at the net. And uh, that was again, enough just to get a little bit of loft on the ball. Enough to... Beats RWU on the line. Man, thanks for the uh, nice compliment as well, Tommy. No, I am. Uh, thank you for calling me the goat. I would not consider myself that, but I, I do thank you. It is nice to be in the Blackline Championship Series. I have a lot of people here that I recognize, and I am really happy to be consider to be a commentator in this league. As Pickle, oh, what a perfect shot there from RWU, and he just pushes it under. The defense is, it's a really well placed play. Zivo, just, he's, he's found, he's made to look funny there with that, with that light shot and 
RWU always finds a way to keep themselves two goals in the lead. Zevo. Can't make the second one. It's Tab off the wall. NC looking in front for Prep Drank. Prep Drank. NC there. The net is wide open. And they just can't get it. It's Pickle on the goal line. He races his way back. And 15 Bean Soup. That offense developed very slowly for them. And that's how the other team got their way back. And 15 Bean Soup now. I have to force game five if they want to win this series. RWU Esports. It's just a little too much for them right now. As this ball will eventually hit the ground, RWU have a chance to win the series on Utopia Coliseum Dusk. Uh, there's a follow coming in from Invertigo. Hello, Invertigo. Welcome to Sporty Stream. How you doing? I want to thank you guys so much for the follow. We are going to go to Game 4 pretty quickly as well. And, uh... It's, it's going to be a great night. We have two series as well planned up. After this, we'll have another Black Line Championship Series match for you guys. Don't go away. Hello, Rebel. How you doing? Nice to see you guys. Game four. And I forgot to update the scoreline. We're going to have to do that right now. Let me... Fix that. There you go. 15 Bean Soup up 2-1 now. Going into game four. Pickle with the clear perp drag. A great touch up. Zevo. Keep it going. Tab. I'm updating the 0-0 score between the teams. Uh, I will not be. That is their score in the total se uh, in their season. So actually, I will not be. I will, though, if we get to see them next week. I will be updating that. Hope your hardball can play better. Yeah, no, it was an absolutely amazing series from you guys. Seriously. Oh, and Premier Championship Series coming in with a shout-out of 24. Hello, Pre Premier Championship Series. Thank you so much for the shout-out. It was amazing doing the commentary for that league. Big shout-outs to the Red Falcons and Mike Snow Pro for organizing it and being my co-caster. Well, actually, it's the other way around. Uh, Falcons was my co-caster. Mike uh, made it all happen. And big shout-outs to you guys. Thank you guys so much for the opportunity. I've absolutely loved it tonight. Although, I do apologize, obviously, for leaving a bit late, but we do have Blackline Championship Series matches coming up. I had to, get, I had to have this match hit, start a little bit later than usual, but, you know, it has delivered. It has really delivered. In game four, 15 Bean Soup can force the Champions Field scenario. But to do that, they're going to need to get themselves in the lead first. NC. Coming in, and Tekaman, come with the notice me. Your, no, your contribution is definitely noticed. Thank you for the support, Tekaman. Perp drank. Pinch in, pinch in front, and Pickle, still waiting, gets the clear away. But he has nothing to follow up with. And, uh, Perp Drank towards the net. CJ putting it right back in that half. And right now, it's a bit of boomer ball from these teams. No one really taking control, but RWU, they definitely have been better at doing that. Uh, they've been really good at keeping control. And maybe it's because they don't go for as many high-risk plays as 15 Bean Soup does go for. But 15 Bean Soup, they had a lot of really good info passes last game. Not like they were going for as many stylish plays. But it is still RWU to come in here and uh, have that advantage in this, in this fourth game. Tab. Inch in front. He's going to pinch it outward, but no one there. He has to let CJ uh, go for it. CJ, he has a chance for a second. Zevo doesn't read it. And CJ says, I am the greatest. A great double tap. A massive double tap from CJ Goncalves. Right over Zero and right through the net. That will shatter the hopes of any 15 bean suit player that wanted to take the lead early. And yeah, clean pass as well. The back pass, I was wondering what was happening there, but CJ Goncalves obviously called that he would go for it, and a great call from him as well to go for that double tap. NC. Can't get it, and the real reason why I think he went for that is because he noticed Zero was awkward. Zero was backwards going up that wall. He was not in a position to save that one easily. And you can see that he wasn't able to save it, actually, and, that's, and CJ was able to f f finish it off, put it home. Pep drank with the long clear. Now in 15 Bean Soup trying to find a way back. Pickle. Zevo doesn't win this challenge. And Pickle, a clean beat, a clean goal in favor of RWU. And this one, all Pickle all day. Beats out the last defender. Hello, Falcons! Now I see you guys have wrapped up your stream. Again, it was amazing being apart, but... And now we got some Blackline Championship Series uh, matches. I'm, I'm, so, I'm still got, I still got enough energy left in me. Zevo, 
Can't get through CJ, CJ. Perp Drank going right through. Turp, Tab, waiting back and... I'm going to try to predict what they're going to do, but he didn't expect the early challenge from NC. This Pickle. Oh my goodness, he's just an absolute mastermind there. He's just dribbled past all three defenders, but the shot didn't come through. Now Tab will finish it off. And I believe RW trying to end the series here. Red right hosting, but couldn't for some reason. Well, it's alright, man. You still got a lot of people coming in. Oh, you know why you can't do a raid? Because you're not an affiliate. You have to be an affiliate to be able to do raids. Uh, as a, you, have to do, you have to be an affiliate to do raids, and I know that stream is not an affiliate right now, so. Yeah, that's kind of why you can't do that. As uh, CJ, he's gonna get a pass in front. Tab is not there. My good, everybody on 15 Bean Soup was uh, in their net for a moment there. And now this one, 50 back, zero. Doesn't, can't have much left. In fact, he has nothing by the looks of it. Just barely getting back to that one. And Pickle, <laughs> we just got to see our camo sit on him for a little bit as he was uh, sitting on the boost. And, and that actually favored them as well. My goodness. Tab with the goal. A great shot to the back of the net. And it all came from Pickle. In fact, him sitting on the boost there put him in the perfect position to pass that one up for Tab. And uh, after so many close games, RWU though, seems like this one might be, very, might be a one-sided victory. Just have to hold for a minute and 19 left on the clock. NC. Dribble it past the last. They can't do so. You're hungry, Falcons. I get that, man. I had a hamburger uh, before our stream today. It was good as well. Excited for Blacklane, too. Yeah, Falcons is also a Blacklane Championship Series uh, cast, everybody. So make sure to support, uh, uh, support Red Falcons. Shout them out, everybody. Shout them out. Isn't it like, isn't it like slash SO for a shout out? As a... Nope, it's not. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Pickle. Perp drank to get it away, but... Last 30 seconds of the clock tab. Sorry about that. My, my mic just muted. Perp drank in front. NC. And that's an open net goal, but... For, uh... The players... Of this roster, it's just... A li it's just so close... It, 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 they, it, it feels like for this 15-bean uh, soup team, this game just got out of hand for them too early. And now, it, 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 now RWU is going on their victory lap. 15-bean soup. A uh, great win in this final game. Really solidified it that they are, in fact, the team to go 1-0. And they definitely do deserve it. In game one, a comeback for 15 Bean Soup, but sadly they cannot come back anymore. Zero does put in this goal. This will be the last goal of the series, most likely. But it won't be enough uh, for 15 Bean Soup. Two goals in one second, just impo just theoretically impossible for them. And RW must be excited now, knowing that this game will end. It will be 4-3, in fact. I uh, can't believe that it, this game actually did end up being a one goal difference because it really didn't start out that way. But RW, they didn't really care. That will end this game and end the series. We still have one more tonight, everybody. That will end it. RW is, is going to win this series 3-1. But we still have one more series. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yes. <laughs> RW, 3-1 victory. And uh, just like that, we are going to go to a quick break really soon. We, really soon, we got two more teams coming up. In fact, if we take a look at the schedule, it'll be Mythic vs. Serenity, another Black Line Championship Series match to end my night, to end my week. We'll see you guys in about five minutes. It might be a little bit longer than that, but we'll see you guys very, very soon. I promise you guys, this is a series you won't want to miss. Mythic vs. Serenity coming up next.
Hey, just wanna thank uh, Safi Bugo for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to this stream. Just came back. I had to get a little bit of food, but I'm back now. We'll get our series started up very soon. And we are back, everybody. Welcome back. We have another series coming up very soon. The last series of the night. Another Black Line Championship Series match. And this one will be between Mythic and Serenity. But first of all, let's recap the last series we just saw moments ago. RWU Esports beat 15 Bean Soup three games to one. They ended it in Utopia Coliseum. So far, no Backline Championship Series match on my stream has ever gone to Game 5, so that's kind of a unique one, but, but I, I, it's definitely uh, not like, it, definitely not too surprising. It is, it is rare that a series does go to Game 5, but coming into our fourth series here, maybe we'll get it this time, but of course, that's up to how both teams will play. So, okay, we're going to get ourselves going up very, very shortly. The info has been sent to both teams. As we do go to take a look at our head-to-head, -head, Mythic playing with the players of King Dizzy, Kingdom Outlaw, Dauntless, and Fave XS, and Serenity playing with Staples, Warped, and Rags, and, and you know Mythic, they, you know they mean business when two of the players have a, uh, a full stop at the end of their name, the period. Uh... Definitely means they it definitely tells us they mean business as I wanna say Selfie Boogle coming in with that follow. Also makes it that means that we have hit five hundred followers on the stream. Everybody celebrates five hundred. Thank you all so much. Means so much uh, to me. Five hundred followers on Twitch. Absolutely amazing. In fact, let me uh tweet that. Again, a huge accomplishment for me. Never thought I'd ever get this far in Twitch, but so happy. 
And I want to, yeah, I want to thank all you guys watching because without you, this would never have been possible. It would, it would never have been uh, possible uh, without all of you guys here showing your support for me. Twitch, uh, Twitch has been the platform I've been streaming on for a while now, and you know what? This 500 reason to celebrate. A massive milestone for, for myself. A massive, massive accomplishment for everybody involved. And uh, just want to say thank you to everybody who's been on the stream before. The ones who've watched, the ones who've played, the ones who've commentated with me. Big thanks to everybody and I want to thank some of the uh, people. You may not know these names so much because they may have not been on stream. But these are the people that influenced my decision making to go streaming. Big mentions to Death Proud. Who, a European streamer, but dude, he's a really nice guy. He's the reason he, I actually do streaming. And another big uh, uh, shout out to uh, Pyro J, one of the first commenters I ever got to see and really kind of get to watch and really get to kind of enjoy a uh, commentary from. Uh, big shout outs to him. Obviously, big shout outs to any uh, any uh, the Rocket League Championship series as well. That that stream has always been amazing, and I want to say thanks to the people involved in that. As again, info has been sent out to both teams, so. We're going to be getting them involved very, very soon. As uh, I do see three players in. Okay, that's everybody coming in. Serenity and uh, uh, Mythic. As everybody's now in, I've heard confirmations that they have joined. And they have. Here they are. You got seven players in the lobby. It's the best of five. And again, it's still round one. The end. The last match of the Blackline Championship Series for this week. On this stream. 500 followers. It's been a great night. I've been commentating for, commentating for like so many hours. It's been absolutely amazing. Let's get ourselves going. The first match of the last series of, the, of this stream of the night. 500 followers as well. Man, this is, there, there's reason to celebrate. Because I am going to actually reset my headset one sec just to make sure it's, it's, it's okay. Because the wires are getting, uh, are getting a little weird. But I can still talk. I can still hear you guys. As we got our series underway. Serenity are on the orange side. And the reason they're going with this logo is because they actually don't have a logo. That's why they have the default uh, the default Rocket League logo on. And on the other side, Mythic. On the blue side, both these teams trying to start off well. Kingdom Outlaw. Trying to get, a, trying to get that second touch, but couldn't. Warped. Redirect down off the crossbar. Staples is up. He can't beat Dauntless. He didn't make contact. Kingdom now the other way. Flip reset. Trying to get a second touch. Can't do so. It's pinched past Dauntless. Dizzy's waiting back. Dizzy in front for Dauntless. Can't make contact. And so far, the shots from these teams have been off target. But you think if they just angle a little bit better, we could be seeing a couple goals fly on through. And one from Magazine's on target, though. But it's saved away by Dizzy. Staples uh, going through. And so far, a lot of high rocket power from both these teams. They're not working. With bows and arrows, they're working with gunpowder. Explosive start for these guys. Kingdom with a flip reset. It seems like they'll go for a lot of players will go for one, even if it's not necessary sometimes. Just because you know what? It gives you another outlaw, an out, another outplay. Kingdom. And take it back to his own end. Ragsen though, jumping on top of it in front for warped. Kingdom jumps, but Staples, the net is open. And the net is asking to be scored on. Staples in the uh, Falcons decal. Respect to that for decal. Uh, we'll get the first goal of the, of the series, and it'll be for Serenity. With that, now they can add more. The possession... Sorry, not the possession. The uh, position is in their favor. But Mythic can still come back. Kingdom Outlaw with the flip reset. Tries to use it as well, but can't get fast. Can't use it well enough. Staples. And you can see a lot of what the uh, Serenity players are doing. They're just waiting back. Uh, letting, letting the flip reset go through because they know in that situation that there's no shot to have so sometimes letting them go for it is not a bad idea obviously if they do have a really good play coming letting them go for it can sometimes be a mistake dauntless but you see I saw he tried to get a fake under warp there and try to get the ball under him but he couldn't do so serenity still tight tightly locked up on defense 
But they are getting a lot of pressure here from Mythic. Dizzy. Can't get past Staples. It's Rags in the weight back. And now Kingdom. Off the ceiling. Coming on through, but can't get so. It's dunked away by Warped. Back the other way. Dizzy. Pinches away. Rags in. I have to avoid one demo. And now can clear it, clear it out. Kingdom. The shot's not there. Rags in. A couple demos as well from both these teams in this series as Dauntless to clear. And it's Dragzen to put it all the way back. Kingdom. And so far, again, it's very back and forth. Only one goal has been scored so far. Now make that two with this one from Warped. As Serenity has now just doubled their lead in game one. See, an awkward play from Dauntless. He's going backwards and he knows he kind of has to make that touch. He's the closest one to it. But he is having to kind of go over his shoulder for that one off the wall. It's just such a weird angle for him. And he just isn't able to make contact. Serenity. We'll, we'll take advantage. We'll score from that. And now, trying to make this game theirs. Dauntless. Maybe pinching down. Warped is waiting for Dauntless's play. And the Outlaw and Ragson's now going to challenge him. 50-50 is won by Serenity. And now, they get a goal off of it from the Staples. No, they don't. It's Kingdom in the way. Rags in back. A couple players flying through for me if I get... I thought that one was in. I didn't see Kingdom rushing in to get that save. But man, Mythic, I'm thankful he did. Because he has now kept this game. And only only a two-goal difference. Very, make, very doable for Mythic to come back from. We've seen it already earlier today with the 15 bean soup in game one. But they, but they, they didn't have... So, um, they didn't have 9 seconds remaining. They had a lot more than that. This is going to be very difficult for Mythic. But all it starts... It, all, all it does, it starts with 1. And wherever that 1 goal comes, they'll need it. It's Kingdom in front. Dizzy! And that one will be the 1. They have 71 seconds. They get the second goal. As Dizzy... With that light, uh, tight angle, he's able to get a light enough shot that can just kiss off the post and in. Also, I see the loyal one there. That is the, uh, that is the uh, San Diego sock. That's the San Diego football team uh, decal. That's nice. Oh my goodness, a demo from Warps. Don't worry about that decal, I guess. Staples trying to reinstate that two-goal lead. You can't get the dunk on Dizzy, but Warps there. Dauntless 50 through him. Magzen strong clear from Kingdom. And Magzen doesn't rotate out properly. Staples is going to have to be on his own here for a little bit. Oh, you still see Magzen. And kind of pushing upfield. Trying to keep Serenity in offense. You don't want to leave the play if you don't have to. And he doesn't know want to, but Serenity now. That's all three players jumping at the same ball. Now, thankfully, it doesn't result in anything. In fact, Ryzen now has two demos. The net is wide open, and Warps misses it completely. Still 2-1. Warps, lucky for him, his team is up, but only by a single goal. Mythic is trying to tie it up. In the final seconds, they're putting all the cards here... In front of them, Warped, though. Fakes it. Oh, my. Warped. And so many players. And you saw these players here in front. They both expected the immediate shot. You see both of them flying in front. But Warped, he knows better. And he makes them fly away from the net. And he fakes it to get the goal. But then with a nice play like that, Serenity are off in, in the lead. Mags in. Shot. And that one's near angle. But Kingdom's waiting. Kingdom. Can't get the second. It's Dauntless to do so. And now, Serenity will let that one drop. They have taken game one. And uh, it, it's kind of been a three-man uh, run in. All three players have gotten involved in it, at least in some way. I've said all three of their names uh, very favorably as well. So it's definitely not been a solo player win. A solo player can really focus on. It's been a team effort. And uh, for Serenity... Bringing the game to, they're going to hope to make that even more in their favor. They had 14 shots that game as well, compared to the two of Mythic. Trinity, that is called squeezing the life out of your opponents. Getting that many shots on offense. But now, game two. Trinity could make this 2-0 in their favor. In the Black Line Championship Series, round one of the Swiss stage. But still, they still need to win two more times. Dizzy! Trying to make that happen! Oh! Mythic! They're not out of it just yet. We know they're not out of it just yet. 
And King Nami air troubles that one over Staples. It just seems like whenever he, it seems like he never lost possession of that one. He always went higher and higher over the challenge, and the shot was an absolute strike into that back of that net. A great amount of power because if it was any slower, that one would have been saved. Serenity, I need to find a way to get back. It's working its way in front. Two players commit, though. And for Serenity, this could spell disaster. Dizzy is going to score. That's his second goal on his second shot. Has not missed the net yet. Dizzy with a few twirls up there just to make it a little more stylish. But those twirls definitely angled his car properly to get that nose pointed downward. That top of the car pointed downward, kind of the nose area, point it downward just to angle the ball downward into the net. Because that is a pretty high shot to get. Staples off the back wall. And looking in front, but the demo on warped. I mean, there is no shot initially, but Kingdom gets his. Saved. But, and Ragsin, uh, excuse me, was the one to actually get the shot there. But Kingdom saved it. Staples. A really light touch and sets it up perfectly for Ragsin. Ragsin with the demo. And that gets rid of the back wall. They could utilize this one on Mythic, but Mythic, that clear, found space. And now, they can get the, and they can get some offense once again. Kingdom, looking for a second one, can't get his way under the defense. Staples and Dauntless both jumping at it. Dauntless, misses the touch. Dizzy means he's going to be found, left uh, uh, absolutely starving on his line. Ragson, can't get it through, and it just feels like right now, that the goal, uh, the goal will be coming for Serenity, but... The question is when, and, and, and to be fair, even if they do get a goal, that won't be it. They have to get two. But at some point, something's gonna break. I, these both both these teams have been in a bit of a stalemate right now for a little while. Oh, that stalemate is after two goals from uh, Mythic. So Mythic is very happy to be in a stalemate. They can, they do not want to have any chaos whatsoever. Uh, they want to have a clean game. They want to have a boring game. I know that. I know that might sound a bit bad, but if you're in the lead, you don't want to have the game be interesting and be close. You want it to be very one-sided because you want to have the the best, the most uh, one-sided win possible. And for uh, the side of Serenity, they're trying to make a bit of chaos here. Trying to really mix things up, and that shot will bounce off the post. Speaking of chaos, a demo coming in from Warped as well. And just add a little bit to that chaos. And you must think for Mythic... One more goal will probably guarantee them a win. But that will be very difficult, especially since they don't want to be... They don't want to overcome it and then get scored on. That will make things very difficult for them. A 2-0 win and a 3-0 win are essentially the same to them. They're still a win. Although, obviously, goal differential and game differential, it all matters. But for them, getting a win is going to be a little more important than trying to play that aggression. But they will almost find their third goal. Kingdom shot saved the very last second. Dauntless now. Dizzy up. Dizzy off the crossbar and warped. Sat there on the goal line. He's going to get bumped away by Rags and Staples has to come in to save him. And wiping a little bit of sweat off his brow was Staples there. Seeing both his teammates get bumped out of the way by each other. Definitely rose his blood pressure a little bit. But now, trying to, find, uh, trying to work his way back. Serenity. You know, they're definitely closing in here, but the chances have just not been good enough. Gonna bounce in front. Dizzy. A second touch. That's also off the crossbar. And Warps, once again, the one waiting in the net to get, let it bounce. Dauntless, though. This one's not off the crossbar. And Ragsin knows. He gets his save. Staples. Pass one. It's to the back, back corner. Kingdom is waiting. And Ragsin, now this shot. And Kingdom lands on top of it. Whatever uh, Serenity is doing... It's just not enough to beat out Mythic. Mythic holding on with a firm grasp. It worked. Cannot get the dunk on Dizzy, and that's two players out of the position. But that means two players are up for Serenity as Staples. A touch into No Man's Lands. Kingdom is going to gobble that one up and almost gets a goal from it, too. Serenity on that last push. Just no one was upfield for him. And uh, Staples should have gone for the 50 50 instead. Try to, I guess, force out a little more chaos. A little bit more possession for Serenity. But Serenity here. This possession off the post. Ragsin will come on through with the follow-up. And this game, not over just yet. Serenity have the initial lead in this series with a 1-0. But if they get one more goal, they could potentially make it 2-0 in their favor. Serenity, 44 seconds to get 
One more shot into the back of the blue net. Dizzy off the ceiling? Ragsen! Had to, t had to jump last second there. I don't know if he knew, knew, this, knew that that ball was going in. Ragsen is still. We're going to talk about Ragsen here. I think under Kingdom, but can't do so. And uh, Sp Staples. This shot is light. Dauntless almost didn't read it. He has to hit it off his back wall. Warped uh, off the back wall as well. And right, no challenge there initially. Kingdom going to waste all the time that he can. Dizzy's shot off the crossbar. Dancing in front. Rags in to save. And that one was a close. It was kind of... The ball was walking the tightrope there. But nevertheless, as soon as the ball hits the ground, we'll have a 1-1 series on our hands. Mythic. Do come back, and Dizzy, rightfully so, named the MVP. Scored the two early goals to get them that early lead. And that's all that Mythic needed in this game. And now, tied up 1-1. Going in to Game 3. We'll have another game series that potentially goes to Game 4. As uh, this one, definitely going to be... Definitely is looking like, to be, looking like it's going to be a close one. As I haven't even started a prediction, let me do that for you guys, real quick. Anybody still here? You guys can predict on the last three games who you think will win. It is tied up 1-1, so it's anybody's series in, in this one. A de facto best of three now for both these sides. And who will win two first? Well, Dizzy, that one's well off target. Dizzy, definitely going to be a bit, sh a bit, uh, a bit uh, shameful of that uh, play. Definitely might be looking a bit coy too. I mean, that one was well off target. Sure, the net was covered, but you expect the player of his caliber to be able to put that one where the net is. Last game, we saw Mythic come out to an early two-goal lead, and again, they held it out for the rest of the series, the rest of the game. Sorry. Now, now they're trying to turn that kind of game win into a series run. Serenity. Infield. No one there. It's Dizzy to clear. Serenity's waiting pretty far back, and maybe they got to utilize that play a little bit more because the, they are waiting very far back, so that means that these infield passes so close to the net are not going to work for them very often. So maybe they try to, spray, uh, try to spread themselves out a little more. Try to just look at that midfield, see who is waiting for it, and maybe even get a pass there. Instead, maybe go for a solo place from the midfield and hold the pressure that way. Definitely an idea that Trinity could, could definitely test. Didn't think we'd ever use a scientific principle in this series, but here we are. As Dizzy, downfield, Warp just saved his team, and it's the other way. Rags in, coming towards, but this one just off target, and now it's not. Staples will turn it in for Serenity. But end to end action here is all the three players of Mythic thought that one was going in. They had a 1 0 situation, but but uh, Warped came in with that save, and then it was Rags and, and Staples to come back the other way to score. Mythic versus Serenity. This series could go the distance. Warped. Can't get a second touch. Staples with this one in his favor. Looking for the flip reset. Can't do it. Dauntless jump, did jump early. Rags in. And that one, uh, definitely don't know what he was trying there, but it looked like he was maybe trying to get, like, a doomsy dish kind of play. But to catch off the defense, and it's a good idea to play, throw in a bit of creativity if you're on Serenity. Uh, because you don't want to do the same old, same old, because then, it, it, then it's going to be uh, cut off by the, the other team's defense, but... That, that, that kind of doomsy dish or attempt definitely didn't work out in their favor. Warped. They try to jump down and... Bumps out Dauntless. What a great play from Warps. Playing the Enforcer. Allowing Ragsen to come on and clean on up. He went after. He made that early challenge to force that Kingdom to hit it up high. And Dauntless, he was going to make a very, very routine clear. But Warps bumped him out of the way. And Ragsen came in to score. And we are going to go back. And it looks like we might go back and forth. Serenity leading by two. It just seems like whichever team gets in the lead are able to hold off that, hold that pressure, hold that momentum, and win out the game. That's been what is that's that's what it's been for the uh, this series, but definitely could change. Warps. Trying to get the flick past Dizzy, but Dizzy waited back. Staples, the touch wasn't meant for him. Ragsen, instead, will do it, and Warps, and he might have been looking for Ragsen, but instead he'll follow it up himself. And he does actually find a pass and field for Staples. Staples, gonna hit it to the corner as well, trying to. 
force an infield pass maybe from Rags and Staples will take this one. And the back and and the weird left to right play uh, from Serenity. Well, they were able to maintain possession, and that's kind of all that mattered for them in this in this offense because that's what forced Mythic to kind of play uh, to, to put them out of position because they have to keep chasing that ball. And Serenity, well, they score a shot right over their heads. Well, let's kick off. They'll favor Mythic. Mythic, still two minutes remaining. They could come back from a uh, three goal deficit. Dauntless. Bump from Dizzy. Well, that warped. So we'll, uh, we'll stop Kingdom. Outlaw. Warped. Rags in. And he does fake that 50 50. And the reason he went for that is because, you know, a, real, a regular 50 50, he's not actually winning that one. He doesn't have the momentum. He's not running supersonic, where, as the uh, player challenging him was. So he said he goes for the fake, lets the player hit it into him, and so he can dunk the play away. Serenity. Definitely trying to out mind game their opponents now. Again, the creativity from Serenity definitely not lacking in that department. But they, but they, but one thing that they, uh, de but one thing they are not, la they're also not lacking in is the fact that there is not that much time left. And for Mythic, the time's going to become their biggest enemy. A minute remaining, they need to get three goals straight. That's a tall order. And with plays like that from Staples, it's only going to make it tougher for Mythic Mi Kingdom. Last in field for Dizzy. Dizzy still up in front. He can't make it, but it is still in there. Warped to save. And my camera was facing straight up. I couldn't really see what was happening, but what I did notice was they're still on the ball. Dizzy. And this could be the start of something great. 51 seconds left. Could we see an improbable comeback from Mythic? Well, these last seconds will definitely tell. This is game three after all, an important game in this series. Mythic are trying to make a, a make a, a major a major comeback, a comeback to be remembered against the Serenity opponents. And really having that tenacity to come back, that that ability to just keep yourself going, the resiliency. Definitely going to be a something that most teams will fear you for because that means that whenever you do go down, you're not going to just lay down dead. You're going to come back as much as as much as you can. As uh, Mythic currently just playing a kind of a passing game in, in the orange play, but no one was willing to challenge Rags, and he's going to take the 50-50 out. And warps clear, but Dauntless waiting for that one. Dizzy has control of the last 10 seconds, and they, uh, and for them this one in front Kingdom. Off the back wall, the shot in for Dauntless is just too slow. And Serenity, it was a scary end there in those last couple seconds. It definitely looked like they were going to get scored on. But Mythic does not score. Serenity win this one outright, and they go 2-1 up. As you are hearing from Mythic, they're going to make a substitution. And with that, substitution means only one thing from Mythic. Fave XS it will be coming in. And coming in to replace uh, one of their players. Yeah, they are going to make a substitution. They're just <laughs> talking about the validity. Substitutions are legal in this league, so they can make one uh, whenever they feel like it's uh, like it's time. And again, this is game four. Trinity can win the series here, and that one. And uh, again, with the sub mythic. Hoping they can change up that playstyle just a little bit. Uh, whenever they're ready, they can join. Although we have six people, so we are waiting on one person uh, to join. I'm assuming that's going to be Fave. Just going to wait for them to join uh, before we get ourselves going. As uh, for this series so far, it seems again. It, it it seems like both these teams, whoever scores first, will ultimately win the game. And 
I don't know if that's gonna continue in game four, but we'll see. We'll we will see. We haven't ever we haven't seen a comeback from either of these teams. When they come when they're down, they come back right back up. It just seems like uh, whoever scores first just kind of wins out that game and uh, outright. And I mean, it, I mean, I feel like they both are playing a pretty similar style, trying to outplay each other, most likely. Not really trying to outdo anything in any sort of specific area. They're just trying to outplay each other. And so far. Both of them have been able to do it at least once. Mythic. Again, making the substitution here. Are waiting on their final player. As yeah, I'm gonna make sure they get the they get their sub in as quickly as possible. We uh, do need to get this game going soon. As we, I'm gonna let them know they have a. I, I believe they do have a couple minutes before, uh, that they can make that substitution in, but. Uh, again, we are. Those quals? I had to log into PC. That's fine. We're gonna get them in, don't worry. As, uh, again, the sub will come in for Mythic. In, in a way, they are also icing their opponents, although obviously unintentional. They, they're not intentionally trying to do that. Uh, but yes, they will. Uh, yes, uh, the sub for Mythic will be coming in very soon to try to see if they can close out the series in Game 5. Here comes Kingdom. It seems like they might actually be playing with Kingdom instead uh, of their sub. Yeah, we are going to check to see if uh, somebody else is now playing on Kingdom's account. Yeah, Kingdom left at the end of last game to make way for the substitution. So, uh... Yeah, we are going to check on that. That is a... <laughs> These guys are having some fun. <laughs> oh, and Dizzy's leaving. It's actually going to be Dizzy who left. Who's leaving this one. So, it actually will be uh, Kingdom Outlaw... To be in the match instead of Dizzy. So it seems like Dizzy's gonna be the one replaced instead. Making, uh, making like a last minute adjustment. And again, we are waiting for Fave XS to join the lobby. They do have, I believe they have 10 minutes. So we might need to lose like three or four of those minutes. So we are still waiting for them, but. We are waiting for Fave XS. If he does not join soon, they will in fact have to play with uh, their free starting players instead. <laughs> They're having some fun here. <laughs> again, we are getting ourselves in here. Again, the sub's coming in for Mythic. We are having to wait for them to come back. They are having to get on their account. Crazy weather we're having today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I love it. My knee is hurting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crazy weather we're having. Ah, uh, gosh. <laughs> I don't know if that's meant to be like a joke, but that is fun. They're doing that. Now they're doing, uh. <laughs> now they're doing. Now they're doing mom spaghetti. Uh. <laughs> there we go. They're vomiting on his sweater already. Uh, okay, well, uh. Lucky enough, because the, song, the song's not playing, so we don't have to worry about it, but I do like their. I do like their, ch their, their, their chipper attitude. As we do, again, wait for Fave XS. He's nervous? Oh no! Wait, he's ner he's going to nervous. Whatever it is. Anyways, we are. Uh, I'm gonna ask and see how many minutes we need to wait for him. 
uh, just to kind of an estimate to see how long we might have to stay in here because he still hasn't joined. It has been a couple minutes. He's having issues logging in. Yeah, again, it, it would suck if Fave can't get in here, but of course, for Mythic, they do have that other player, and they have three players available. But they are probably going to—they are trying to get Mythic in. They—they they, they still, they do still have a few more minutes, although they've used at least five of them. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. <laughs> nice. Yes, I am the one who knocks on that door. But anyways. Again, we're gonna wait for them uh, to get uh, to get into the lobby soon. What's been happening? Crazy weather been happening. No I'm joking. Uh, again, we are waiting for them. But hopefully, everybody, you're having a great night. It's great to see you guys here. Again, thanks for 500, uh, 500, uh, 500 followers on Twitch. And we are waiting for the last player of Mythic who join. In fact, I'll run a quick one. Uh, I'll run a. Uh, Quick, be right back screen. We'll be right. We'll, we'll be there very soon. Okay, we're back in. Everybody's been set up. And, uh, that's the wrong one. That's still the wrong one. There we go. We're now back in for our fourth game. FaveXS has now joined in. He's going to be subbing in for Dauntless. Dizzy. Wait, is it Warped is back? Warped can't get through Dizzy. FaveXS is there. Kingdom in front. Kingdom with a shot. Ragzin waiting. Ragzin will cl clear it away for the save. Pass back to Dizzy, Dizzy. And it has been a bit of a long break, but we are back in uh, in this series for game four. And a double tap! Oh, FaveXS almost landed on top of that one. Kingdom's double tap almost set up the most magnificent goal we've seen all day long. But it just wasn't to be. It was just a little bit away. Fave almost, was almost able to connect it, but that double tap was really fast. And, you, and uh, you can see how he was kind of slow to get to that one. Mythic, though. With a double tap like that... With a great play like that, definitely going to bring some confidence to them. But Serenity, they are up in the series. As Warped, can't get through Kingdom. Fave XS is in, but Staples had to jump, had to double back there to get to that save. Was able to do it. Rags in. Can't get the second touch. Dizzy to clear, but Staples and they put in the momentum. And pressure now, going to the side of Serenity. Serenity downfield. Dizzy. There's and Ragzin trying to look for a pass and feel can't do so. It's cleared away by Fave. Warped. Oh, a low clear kingdom. Utilizing the corner because Fave is there. Fave. And Ragzin is taking his time to get to that one because he knows he will uh, he will win it. Dizzy with the pinch. And that re and that moment uh, that kind of break that we had in between. Definitely a l definitely gonna be an unintentional bit of help here for the uh for the blue side here in Mythic, but as you can see, they are getting some early pressure, but Serenity still are keeping themselves strong in their nets. Kingdom, though, in front, warped, will clear it in favor of Serenity, but this clears not getting through the midfield. Mythic is waiting pretty far back for them. 
And uh, as, as time goes on, Serenity definitely getting lower and lower on their boost totals and definitely and might be getting a little bit lower and lower on their patience as well. Warps past him, and that one's also past Staples. Kingdom Outlaw will score the goal for Mythic. Kingdom with the pinch goal, and that one will favor Mythic, as, as I said before. As yeah, we're okay, we're getting confirmation that Don's gonna just take in the lobby then. Not a big deal. I mean, I don't expect people are cheating. <laughs> most, most people wouldn't be cheating anyways. Fave to the back wall rags and with an air dribble away. Kingdom's trying to intercept that one. Warps. Looking for a pass down field and as the series has been going on, the team that scores first is usually the one to win. But Serenity, if they get a goal here, they get the comeback. One, they, 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 uh, that kind of, uh, uh, conf that kind of, uh, uh, record of having the games go to whoever scores first will one be broken and two will end, will end the series. But Serenity, they do need to score back. They need, still need to score and tie this game up first. Ragsen pinches away. It's going to roll, actually roll really favorably for him, but Kingdom Outlaw. Hits it to the corner, and he jumps on top of Fave, but Fave actually is going to help him there and re and make the uh, opponents of Serenity kind of second-guess themselves. But that is wide open. Ragsen had the net there, but he knows that someone's challenging. A flick over Fave will not beat out the, uh, beat out the rest of the defense. Dizzy. To Kingdom. Fave with the bump on Ragsen. Ragsen. Gonna have to allow Kingdom to come in. A shot from Fave as well. Placed! Kingdom will score because Rags in. You can notice how just how awkward he was on that rotation. He's on the near side. He's rotating boost side as well. That's only gonna make it tougher. And with the ball bouncing off like that, Ragsen just has to kind of guess where the shot's going. And he guessed incorrectly. And Mythic might be able to force a game five. Dizzy has now just stopped playing, so. There he is, he's back. Uh, sadly, the rules, I think, state do, do say that if we are this far into a game, that we keep on playing. Kingdom. Though, so we don't have to worry about the, uh, about it, because it just seems like he was out for, like, a second. Maybe a controller thing. That happens. Dizzy. Off the back wall. Staples to pinch it through. Staples trying to get past Fave, and Ragsen. Tap down past the Staples. It's just, it's just out of reach. You feel like there should have been sparks flying. You, you thought he maybe could have caught contact on that, but... Just barely out of reach. It was just a little too much sauce on that pass. This pass had a bit of good, uh, good amount of soft warped. So, his shot's a bit too weak. Mags in pinch in front, Kingdom. I'm gonna go backwards to get this touch. Staples. Now beat out his own to player, so now he has to go back. Kingdom has boost. Mags in has the back wall. Staples has the jump, but Fave has him beat. A mythic. I think they, I think with that play, now they've just forced out a game five. Magsin will control it though. It's not over yet. In fact, I gotta hold my tongue because for nine seconds, we could see a comeback here from uh, Serenity. Ragsen with an open net shot will not make a mistake of that one. It's just kind of a uh, an overcommit here on the side of uh, Mythic. Oh, and an overcommit, hopefully they don't, and they'll hope it won't uh, come back to bite them. Staples, up for it, looking for a second one, dropped in front, still there, last second, it needs to hit the ground for Mythic, and it does, Mythic, force, game, five. We'll ask if they want Champions Field, because you know what, Champions Field, definitely a field that we could use for this one. Oh, they want Champions Field. Oh, okay. We go in to Champions Field. The reason I ask is they all, because they wanted Manfield for every single match, but they want Champions Field. No, not Neon. We're gonna go to Champions Field, not Neon Fields. Neon Fields is, is the is like is the worst map map in the game, and uh, that is like not an opinion. That's a fact. It is it is a horrible map. It does not deserve to be in Rocket League. It's just. It's so bad. It's so loud as well for a map. Like, I can't believe how loud it is. Game five. This is the end out round one as well. Going all the way to Champions Field. And every game matters as well for seeding. Who you play against the next round is determined based on your game differential and your goal differential. How you play against your opponent. 
But most importantly, he's getting that win. And Dizzy is going to start it out well for Mythic. Mythic made the substitution in, uh, before Game 4. They won that game confidently. And in Game 5, they're off to an initial lead. A passing play will do it. Serenity. They got Games 1 and 3. They won the, the very crucial Game 3 to tip the series in their favor. But after that, the substitution in Game 4. And Mythic. Seems like the new the hot commodity in this series, Fave. Up in front with the air dribble. Looking for the second touch. Near angle. Can't do so. Staples will clear it away in favor. Can't get the second touch. Dizzy and Kingdom do bump each other. That will make it a little slow for the rotation here of Mythic. And Serenity multiplayer players jumping on that one. And that's going to leave the net wide open for Fave. And Kingdom connecting for passes. As a double commit here. Gonna make ch their chances really difficult on the side of Serenity. Now they're down by two goals. Do they have anything left to come back with? Mythic. The best start they could have asked for. Staples in front, though, for Ragzen. He had the backflip. He was up too high. Warped. Using the back wall. Kingdom will read that one. He just got to that. And he got his nose on there to make as much contact as possible. A double commit from Serenity will end the offense. And a double commits here from Serenity. Not something that we I've called them out on earlier in this series. Because they haven't really happened for them. But a double commit resulted in that second goal against them. And that double commit right there ended their offensive pressure. Mythic on the other side have had very quality rotations. They've not made that mistake uh, very often. As you can see, Kingdom cutting in front. Infill for Dizzy! And that's a third goal in favor of Mythic. Mythic running up the scoreboard here. Gonna make game five as one-sided as possible. We're only a minute and 15, uh, a minute and 14 in. And Mythic are the ones currently on top. Kingdom. Control trying to get through uh, Staples. But Dizzy with the long bang. Ragzin. Weird, it's over Fave. Ryzen can't get the touch to just lay it off to Staples. Staples. Warped. Geared away by Kingdom. Dizzy. Dizzy to put it to the back wall. Staples off the off the corner. Fave. That's a shot. And that's a save from Ragzen. Kingdom. Yeah, move by Fave as well. We'll allow Kingdom to get a shot. But Warped is there to stop it. Serenity, they really can't afford any more goals against them. And as I say that, this one will bounce in front for Kingdom. Kingdom will not miss that. That is the easiest shot he'll ever get in his career. And it is against Serenity, a Serenity team that is struggling right now to get themselves out of their own half. A lot of this play is just coming from overwhelming pressure from Mythic. Fave XS, the answer to, to Mythic's problems. But Warped will put this one in the net. Another open net. These teams do love to play that ultra-aggressive game. And sometimes they'll be caught out for it. Like in this play. The first goal in the game for uh, Serenity. But it but it, it comes to the cost of four goals for Mythic. It's going to be a real, a real uh, strong, tough comeback for them. If they're able to make it, that is. Warped. Yances his way in front. Kingdom. To clear it. And for Mythic, there's not go there's uh, you think a team that's up by this many goals would start to go for maybe more solo plays, play a little more defensive, knowing that the game is coming near the end of it. But no, they're going they're still going for these pass plays, still going for the ultra aggressive plays. Again, trying to score as much as they possibly can. Why not? Uh, for them. They know that they're up by uh, by so much that even giving up a goal won't really matter to them. All that much. They are still in the lead. Staples. Though trying to give some hope for Serenity. Bags in. And now Warped. Staples. Could put a shot on target. Just off. Tar just off. A little wide. And Kingdom. Finding the opening to clear through. Signing the second touch. And Ragzen finding a touch away. Staples. He's going to find a clear. Dizzy. His touch not very strong. It will allow Serenity to come back up. Into the final two minutes. Ragzen. And Serenity need to find a goal. It's Favor it is the only one on the line. Dizzy was demoed away. So that means Favor is the only one there to make that save. And he does. Clutch performance from him. Serenity. 
still looking for the goal that can make that can give them uh, that can make it even easier for them as bags in wow a great shot there from him doing it himself unassisted rags in doomsy dishes it into the back of the blue net and again hope a word that is hanging in the air for any serenity players and fans hope still balancing in the limelight staples I'm gonna get that 50 50 pass dizzy but dizzy a high touch. Fave is going to be first to this one. Dizzy's waiting back. A triple commit will actually work for Serenity. You, you don't expect those things to work. And triple commits don't usually work that well. Serenity, though, profit out of off of this one because it's kind of a weird team play. Staples was the one that get the initial touch. And Warp, it was teed up for him. He just decided to go for that shot. And now, uh, over a minute left in gameplay in Serenity, trying to make the... Try, uh, almost ready to complete that comeback. Fave. Catches it. Staples is up there early for it. Dizzy. Still. It's the uh, Mythic team in front, but not by much. It's only by a single goal now. And Fave will score over now as well. And I'll make it two. As Serenity definitely thought this was savable. Fave. Shot wasn't very powerful. But Rags didn't expect the Kingdom to get the touch there. And that's why he was positioning that way, he, the way he was. Warped. Trying to air dribble his way out of defense. Rags in. Kingdom with the ball at his front. Infield for Fave. Fave. Looking for the one infield. Serenity though. They've already scored three goals. We know they can do it again. Staples. Down for Rags in. But that touch is so high. It's going to be Kingdom the first to it. But he doesn't read it. Warped. Off the back wall. Commit in front. And the commit will favor... The blue warped, uh, the blue, uh, side warped. Rags in. No, a read there. Kingdom trying to seal the deal. That one will do it. And that comeback was almost complete. But now, like we saw in the earlier part of this game, it is Mythic to run up the scoreboard again. Two more goals just to put this game out of reach for Serenity. Serenity, they came so close. But they just couldn't complete it. No, no miracles today. Mythic will win. And as these last seconds tick down, Mythic, we're getting an interview with them as well. As we will just put in the last goal of the series here. Six four will be the final score line. And yes, we will get a, we will get an interview with Mythic to end out the night. As they will be going. Uh, with the initial 1-0 in their in their uh, qualifier. They went to game 5, but Mythic were the more clutch team uh, in the end. As we will get the prediction outcome here. Mythic, again, we're going to get an interview with them very soon. Just uh, give me a moment while I set it up. Four of the Mythic side. And uh, as it happened, I just want to kind of say, uh, from again, from Mythic, just like a, a good series for them. They were able to clutch out in games 1-5. And bringing in the substitutes of, um, bringing in the substitutes of uh, Fave XS was definitely the right call. And uh, this, will be the, this will be an interview. This will be what ends out the night for us. And again, we're going to try to get Mythic here in, in, in a, uh, a voice call with us. As uh, they are, again, we're just trying to connect in with them, make sure that they're actually here, and we will be getting Dizzy to join us, uh, the captain of Mythic. Hopefully so, he should be, he, he definitely is a good person to uh, come in and, uh, and uh, give us his words of wisdom. Again, that will be the last match of the night. Our first ever Game 5 uh, Champions Field visit on uh, the Black Line Championship Series. But definitely well worth it. Kingdom will actually be joining. Not Dizzy. Dizzy just wanted to join. He'll, he'll, Kingdom will be joining us, actually. 
for the voice call. So we are going to get a quick interview with the with the kingdom here of Mythic uh, before we end off the stream for today. And again, I want to say thank you all for having for being amazing people tonight. It's been a great stream. As again, this will be the last part. Then after this, who knows what will happen next week? We'll definitely be setting things up. I will. I am about. I am going to be playing a, a couple more matches, though. I might be able to stream some of those matches for you guys with my uh, new team in uh, Golden Eye Esports Red. So look out for that. Pay attention to the Twitter, or if you're on my Discord, pay attention to the Discord, Discord pings. Uh, I will be playing. I will be playing uh, soon. We are still waiting for Kingdom. Uh, to get himself in. I think he's forgotten to. Um, oh, hello, Kingdom. Welcome to the voice call. Congratulations on your win tonight. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a... Well, a hard-fought victory, man. Game five. Uh, did you get? Did you ever get nervous in that series? Yeah, definitely. When they went up um, a game on us, we felt, you know, we started getting nervous when we put together a game plan. Yeah, of course, and uh, that game plan obviously included Fave because Fave came in, and uh, instantly your team changed. Just kind of take me through kind of why you brought Fave in and kind of the, the differences he's made to your team and, and why you guys were so successful uh, after uh, having Fave come in and play. Um, yeah, so Fav's when he... Oh, he Fav, sorry, my bad. <laughs> That's okay. Um, he let us know he was feeling good, so uh, we, we brought him in, took the chance, uh, and yeah, he didn't disappoint at all. Very happy with his performance. Yeah, and you should be again a massive, uh, a massive performance. I do, I do see Dizzy here. Does Dizzy want to get in on a uh, a quick question? I think he just. Oh, there he goes. I can. You want to? Okay, cool, Dizzy. Again, uh, now that your guys are one zero up in a sw in in the Swiss stage, definitely interesting. You need three wins to get on through. Uh, coming through though, three two. You're gonna have a really tough opponent for game two. You're gonna have, uh, technically, you're gonna have your toughest opponent. Now, one of the toughest opponents possible in the next round. And uh, what's going to be kind of your game plan going into that? Are you guys just going to do the same old, same old? Or uh, is there anything you guys are going to do to kind of prepare for your next uh, your next week? Because it's coming up very soon. And I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure, Dizzy, that it, it's definitely on your mind now after that win. Yeah, so we don't actually, like, play scrims a lot as a team. We haven't really done that in the past. Um, but we're going to start doing that a lot um, as we go through. Uh, we're going to start playing more scrims, more during the week, instead of just coming in and playing the game that week. Yeah, that makes total sense. And now that Fave is here with us. Fave, the, uh, the X-Factor man, you came in clutch in those last games. Game 5, you guys uh, you guys went up by 4, but Serenity ha almost came back. They scored 3 goals straight on you guys. Uh, Fave, what, what, was kind of the, what was kind of the team talking point? Because after those 3 goals, you guys turned on the Jets again. Is there, what, what was kind of the talking point there to get you, you guys going again at the end of that game? It was more just trying to keep the pressure on because we're a really aggressive team. And uh, just did that and it works. So. I mean, if it works, it works, right? Right, Fave. It, you know, it's a tried and true method just to score more than your opponent. It always works. It always works uh, for me. So, uh, it, it, you know, again, a great series, a great win. Before you guys do go, go. I, I, wanna, I do want to congratulate you guys on your uh, series victory. It, it was a close one, you guys. Uh, had to, you guys made a substitution. You made the right call there in getting Fave in because, and sorry, Fav in. I have to remember that it's Fav, not Fave. Fav. Yeah, I know. I, I said your name incorrectly the entire series. I should have asked you guys beforehand. But anyways, uh, yeah, again, a great series from all, from all of you guys. But before you do go, we are gonna have a, we are gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a quick amount of time to shout out yourself. Your, your, anybody who's helped you out along the way, anything that's like kind of near you, I don't mind. Shout out whatever you want. Kingdom Outlaw, you'll be studying, uh, studying us off. Is there anyone, anything you want to shout out? Is there any socials that you want to shout out? Uh, now's the time to do so. Um, I just want to shout out my uh, my man Cutsy. He's uh he's not on the team right now, but um, I've been playing with him for a little over two years now, and we've grinded up um, together and. We both improved tremendously, and he's been there along that way to motivate me. Uh, also, Favs is—he's he, just dad. So, that's all there to say <laughs> about that. 
Okay, so Fav Dad now. Is there any is there any, is there anything you want to is there any uh, shout outs you want to have? Uh Dizzy, he's the one that got me into this game in the first place. Um that's the Kingdom as well. Got me into this game with him for a while. Yep. The in Kingdom as well. Got me Hey, short, sweet, simple to the point. That's exactly how it works. And now, Dizzy, I'm going to end off with you for the night. Is there is there any shoutouts you have? I know you do have a Twitch now. I wonder if you want to shut that out. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, my Twitch is not Dizzy with four Zs. Um, go follow that. I stream a couple times a week. I'm really not doing it right now, but I will be again. Uh, and then my other shout-out is to Fabs here. I mean, I might have got him into Rocket League. He's the one who really, you know, gets me going to play it every day. I actually get better at the game, so that's great. Hey, you know, it's great, and I actually will be uh, getting your tw uh, Twitch l uh, link in my channel, so don't worry about it. There you go. There it is. There's your tw there's your Twitch, Dizzy, uh, in the channel. Again, congratulations on your win tonight. Uh, have an amazing... Uh, no, I know, I know it's kind of late, but, uh, well, at least for me it's kind of late, but uh, it, it's been a, a great series for you guys. It's been great watching you guys play. Again, have an amazing evening. You, you definitely do, you definitely do deserve that, uh, some time to yourself to celebrate that victory. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you thank too. you. Of course. And that will end out the night. Thank you all so much for joining. It's been an amazing time here. Where though? Uh, gonna get, uh, we are gonna get a raid going to end off the night, so don't leave us just yet. There are people that we can uh, raid that are live, so let's, 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 uh, find someone, right? Right, there, there's definitely, uh, people we can raid that are live right now. Let's see. Um... Let's raid this person. We're going to be raiding this person here. Uh, and we're going to get a raid going. Go support them. Have a, uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Have an amazing night. It's been great seeing you guys. My name is Sporty SC. And until next time, take care. It, uh...